all right guys so we are into the google cloud console now our first task is to source a public pubs up topic and create a big query data set so in this task uh, we will create the taxi rides data set uh, we have two options one using google cloud shell or using the google cloud console right so talking about pubs up uh, it is an asynchronous global messaging service uh, by decoupling senders and receivers it allows for secure and highly available communication between independently written applications uh, also pubs up delivers low latency durable messaging so in pubs up publisher applications and subscriber applications connect with one another through the use of a shared string called a topic right a publisher application creates and sends messages to a topic and subscriber applications create a sub subscription to a topic to receive messages from it. Uh, Google maintains a few public pubs up streaming data topics for labs like this one. So we will be using the one. So let me show you. So you know this is basically the New York taxi and limousine commissions open data set available probably you can explore it further <clears throat> and talking about the bigquery uh, bigquery is a serverless data warehouse uh, tables in bigquery are organized into data sets so in this lab uh, messages published into pubsub will be aggregated and stored in uh, a bigquery all right so let's get started Okay, so we are back to GCP console now. Here are project information uh, available, project name, project ID, etc. So uh, for, for our first task, basically we'll go to BigQuery since we are using the UI. Okay, here we will go and create a data set. We'll give the name as taxi rights okay um, location is fine you can choose as per your convenience uh, we'll click on create data set we'll expand it and uh, We'll click on create table. Here the table name uh, we can give as real time. Okay. And we have to add schema. So for schema probably you know the 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 column that we need. So those attributes we will mention. Uh, with the data type so the first one we would need as ride ID and that's a string then we need point ID and this is integer then latitude it's a float then longitude and this is also a float then we need timestamp and this is a timestamp actually timestamp data data and data type next we need meter reading and this should be a float again then we need meter increment and this should be again a float next we need 
ride status this is a string next we need passenger count okay and this is an integer okay so we have given our schema now under partition and cluster settings uh, we will use partition by timestamp okay and we'll create a table so we'll wait for some time all right so it has created the table now okay so as we are done with our task one we'll create task two which is nothing but creating a cloud storage bucket so in this task we will create a cloud storage bucket to provide working space for our data flow pipeline so for those who don't know cloud storage allows worldwide storage and retrieval of any amount of data at any time we can use cloud storage for a range of scenarios including serving website content storing data for archival and disaster recovery or distributing large data objects to users via direct download okay so we would need our project id so there is a one way uh, to take it directly from home page this is the same or we can use the cloud shell so uh, let's use cloud shell uh, in order to do this okay so this is the same the one that is showing here is the same the project id itself uh, so we have a command also we can write g cloud it's nothing but google cloud then config list project okay so this is is our project id we'll copy and we'll take it for further use okay let's come out so now for our task 2 we have to navigate to cloud storage we'll create a bucket here okay so in bucket section uh, we will create okay so let's give the same name as project id so name your name your bucket okay your project id then let's go for location okay it's already multi-region okay all right so no other settings probably if you want to you can go and explore other settings we will create it with the same one okay so bucket is created now let it load yeah this one okay so we are ready for the task 3 now and this is to set up a data flow pipeline okay so in this task uh, we will set up a streaming data pipeline to read sensor data from pubsub we'll compute the maximum temperature within a time window and uh, we'll write this out to BigQuery. Okay, uh, so so data flow is nothing but it's a serverless way to carry out data analysis. So let's restart the connection uh, to the data flow API. So in order to do that, let's find out 
data flow so in the search we'll write data flow api it's a little slow yeah data flow api we will open we'll go to manage and here we will disable the api so once it is disabled we will enable it and uh, this process probably will restart the connection to the data flow api okay here we will enable it okay so i think it's taking some time okay so let's create a new streaming pipeline so for that let's go to data flow okay so we'll create a new job from template okay So we'll streaming taxi pipeline. This is the name we can give it. Regional endpoint we can use. Let's use US Western Oregon. And uh, for data flow template, select pub sub topic to be query. So let's search for it topic to be query okay same time you can also see the pipeline here it is taking some time now in an input pub sub topic we will uh, click on enter topic manually and the topic name we have to give project okay so this is the format that we need to utilize here so projects then pub sub public data and then again 
topics and my topic id is nothing but taxi rides real time okay we we'll click on save so for output table we will will give our project id you know that we already copied initially and then colon taxi right dot real time so this is you know our big query uh data set and, and table that we created okay so so there is a colon you know between the project and the data set name and a dot between the data set and table and that you need to keep in mind so in temporary location here we will click on browse we will click on view child and here we will create a folder it should be blank yeah we'll create a folder called temp okay and once it is done we will select it okay yeah we will select it let's go to the optional parameters here so we don't need to worry about much probably we'll use the maximum workers will give two and number of workers also same number two and uh, worker region let's select us West one and rest of the other settings will, will will remain same. Let's click on run job. Okay, so we can see a new streaming job has started now, and uh, now we can see a new visual uh, re representation of the data pipeline here. Right, so all are into the running stage. Okay, let's move for our task four uh, for analyze the taxi data using BigQuery. Okay, so let's go to the BigQuery. So in the query editor, probably we will write a query. Select star from taxi write dot real time. So this is the basically the data set and table that we created, right? We can use limit ten the ten reports to see. Okay, now we can see the records here. So, as we created this table, that uh, it is loading the data, right ID, point ID X, latitude, longitude, timestamp, meter reading, meter increment, right status, and number of passengers. Right? Yeah, all right. So our task is completed. Uh, let's move for the next task. Okay, so we are ready for the next task. So task five is to perform aggregations on the stream for reporting. So in this task, we calculate aggregation on the stream for reporting. So let's uh, remove this query. We have already copied 
uh, the query that we require in order to perform the aggregations so you can check this out this query probably into uh, in the description also uh, you can read more in into the uh, google cloud bigquery documentation so let's run it all right so we can see the result as so we have the dashboard minute total rides total revenue and total passengers it's coming out from this record so we just need to ensure that data flow is registered are registering data in bigquery before proceeding to the next task okay so let's save this query let's give my saved query all right so it is saved so we are ready for our next task now okay so after saving this query let's go to the task number six stopping the data flow job so we need to stop it uh, just to free up some resources from our project so let's navigate to the data flow we will click on the streaming taxi pipeline so in order to stop let's click on stop cancel and stop job Okay, so we can see now our job is cancelled it can take some time to cancel the job right so now it is the status is coming coming as cancelled so now we can good for our task 7 we will create a real-time dashboard so let's go to the BigQuery let's go to the saved queries let's run it okay now we're going to explore the data so let's explore with data studio it's loading so let's click on this chart chart appears so let's go and use the combo chart here so combo chart is loading okay now we will we see here these are the available charts here this is the data pan setup and style pan okay so here in the setup pan from the data range dimension let's remove minute In the data pen click dashboard sort and drag it to setup data range dimension okay here at the end dimension in uh, setup dimension here we have a total revenue let's click and use dashboard sort okay will go down in the metric section we have dashboard sort we'll click on and we'll select total rights so yeah here it is then we will go again 
the data uh, setup matrix says dashboard sort and then we will select total passengers so yeah this is the total passengers now in the setup matrix we will click add matrix and then we will select total revenue so yeah this is the total revenue okay so we'll go to the sorting section so here we will click on total passengers and then we will select dashboard sort okay and then we'll click on ascending okay okay so visualizing data at a minute level granularity is is currently not supported in data studio as a timestamp this is why we created our own dashboard sort dimension okay so now let's seven share we'll click on seven share to save this data source agree select India XYZ any company name you can give here click on continue so if prompted to complete your account setup right like this agree the terms and condition and then click on continue and if prompted for email preferences then answer no click on continue if uh, prompted uh, with the review data access before saving so we will click on acknowledge and save and now we will click add to report So whenever anyone visits your dashboard it will be up to date with the latest transactions so you can try it uh, yourself by clicking more options then refresh data okay so we are into the data studio now we have to launch the data studio so this is the ui we will get initially so we are for the task 8 we have to create a time series dashboard okay so in this task we will create a time series chart so let's go to reports and in the start with the template let's click on the blank report here uh, connect to data uh, as part of the from the list of google connectors we will uh, select the BigQuery tile let's click on custom query and then select your project id so this is our project id okay in enter custom query you have to write a query so let's write it select star from taxi rides dot real time where ride status is equal to drop up okay let's click on add
okay so you are about to add data to this report add to report a new untitled report appears it may take up to a minute for the screen to finish refreshing so we'll go to the data pan we'll click on add a field we we'll click on old fields and we'll change the timestamp field type date and time date hour minute date hour minute we'll click on continue let's click done In the top menu, let's click on add a chart, choose time series chart, okay, we have positioned already in the setup. For dimension let's click on timestamp date select timestamp So in setup dimension, we have already selected timestamp. Now we will click on here, and we will type select date and time, date, hour, minute. outside the dialog to close it you no need to add any name here so again let's go to setup and in setup let's go to the metric here in the record count to see yeah it's already meeting reading fine and then let's come out so we have added our time series data here. Thank you.